And you live a type of life sometimes, man, feel like the more you help, the more you're judged. Because then people want you to help a certain type of way. The higher you get up in this game, people say, well, I like Keys, but I want Keys to do the type of help I want to see him do. Well, hey, brother, I'm glad you built up a platform. Now I need you to use your platform. Now you're doing great. You're doing good. But I need you to use it the way I would want you to use it. And then you become a slave to the movement again. You become a slave to something else. And it's like, that's not how this works. Because we don't appreciate what people do to assist and help and provide and, <laughs> and add on. And what I learned is that people may mock your process, but they'll love your results. That as long as you're successful in what you do, everything in between that you had to do in order to get there will be forgiven. Because we are a short temper and a short memory people. We be angry in the short term, but in the long term, as long as you're successful, you're going to be all right. So I don't mind nobody disliking the movement and what I got going to say, how I may dress or talk or speak. But if my energy and life force add to a collective change for the future, then I did my job. You know what I'm talking about? And that's all that matters. I did my job. But at the same time, I'm not going to allow nobody to settle for comfortability on a plantation. I don't, I don't, I don't have that in me. I don't know how to do that. I'm always pushing people for their potential to become kinetic because I hate to see people become complacent in their own godliness. You understand me? Like you, a lot of people, they don't, I, if I can see the extent of where a person can go if they listen or discipline or focus themselves or hone in on that God light that they got, then I cannot be truly satisfied. <laughs> and and this is, whether this is a good or bad thing, I can't be truly satisfied, you understand me, with that person being around me until I see that person in full development of themselves. So I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push you. You understand me? We, we, we pushing potential. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? And, and some people can't handle that when you push their potential. You understand me? And you see it for them. Because too many people want to be a part of a world that ain't worth shit. So your ambitions are connected to things that are worthless. So when I see a people fighting for things that don't mean anything, I see a person that becomes a slave to the material world. And so if I'm a person that's trying to liberate the minds liberate us in a manner then that person is fighting against it you, you the slave that don't want to leave the plantation you understand me and respectfully you gotta go specifically from around me because you gonna put me in danger I'm gonna be wanting to go one direction you go the other direction I'm looking out for you and then I might get caught up so you gotta make sure you move with people and around people who are, are aligned with you you understand me and move like you and believe like you and think like you you understand me and let everybody else that want to be attached to this funky weak ass world and these weak ass industries and these weak ass things you understand me that we make our dreams when we literally can build our own you understand me like that's that's the thing i ain't just telling y'all to hey fuck these things like no i'm saying like y'all we really got ways that we can strategize ourselves out of those things and live an even better quality of life a higher standard of life and that's what I love the most it's like bro we got options B like what are we talking about here like that's what I'm talking about we got options so for us to take the weakest route and for us to buy into the dreams of other people's dreams because that was one this that was this girl dream and oh I want to aspire to be like her and I want to follow that archetype well this was his brother dream I want to follow be like him and follow his archetype and these are connected to uh, white masters and and, and Subserviency right to these institutions. That shit don't mean nothing to me. So I see too many black people with white dreams. That's just a fact. Well, how do you know if you got a white dream? Well, it's connected to the whole Eurocentric Yanis system. If it requires you to appease a Eurocentric system, it's a white dream. 
If your dream ain't connected to appeasing God, it ain't a block dream. So ask yourself, think about the dreams that you got right now. Who you got to appease to get there? Who you got to satisfy to get there? Who you got to make happy? Who? How much ass you got to kiss? Who you got to network with in order to make your dream successful? That'll let you know what type of dream you got. What color is your dream? What frequency is it? Is it connected to the very world that you would love to see actually come down and a better world be built up or is it connected to your people your liberation a, a, a new world a new condition a new type of mind a new type of righteousness is what is it that ain't for me to determine that is not my job that is for you to determine i don't know you across the screen you got to go sit down with yourself and you have to decide like wow my dream is connected to this world this is why I can't give it up. This is why, you know, I can't turn my back on it. This is why I can't speak truth. This is why I can't agree with those who are real. This is why I'm so connected. Why I think I want the world to end, but my damn dream is connected to this world. And when I say world to end, I'm not talking about the end of the world in the sense that the planet dies. I'm talking about the end of these systems that control us, that consistently keep people slaves. And these oligarchies, oligarchies and monarchies capitalist systems so you feel me that's that's a, 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 a question that you gotta subscribe on your own heart you understand me and you have to decide and decipher who are you because not a lot of people spend time with that question to develop themselves like who am I you know what I'm saying everybody wanna follow this white man blueprint at the end of the day man it be some sucker shit because that's all it be don't know none of the philosophies of any African psychology or, or comedic science following the psychology of somebody who just came on the scene but I really want you to deeply answer that question for yourself what kind of dream I got what is my life more connected to my oppression or liberation because we don't even realize we be fighting for the wrong team in the name of a good dream.